If you're vegan, then why are you wearing apparel that supports the use of shark leather? What's up you guys? Thank you for coming back to my channel. It's Kelly Carroll. Some of you know me as Koozie and I have new videos every Friday. I'm really excited to talk about this episode because it's something very dear to my heart. Um, I'm going to share with you a little bit and a lot of bit about my free dive with sharks when I was in the North Shore of Hawaii. And I really hope I answer any questions that you all may have and I hope I give you some new fresh information too that you can let me when I went to the North Shore of Hawaii, I went shark diving with One Ocean. One Ocean is awesome. It is led and created by Ocean Ramsey and Juan Oliphant. Oliphant? His last name something like that. They're married now. Juan and Ocean. Juan Ocean. Juan Ocean shark diving. One Ocean. Okay, you, you see what just happened? That's crazy. I went shark diving with Juan and Ocean. Um, actually, Ocean wasn't there the day, well, at the time that I went on my shark dive. I went early in the morning, around 9 a.m. And, um, but Juan was. And Juan and their captain and one other crew member was on the boat with us. And they're just a wealth of information of what to know about sharks, how to protect them, and how to act when you're in the water with them. I have never felt so comfortable and safe by an apex predator in my life. Granted, I don't spend a lot of time around apex predators. The way Juan and the captain and the other crew member explained to us to act around these predators was to make ourselves obviously more alpha. And that was so simple. Like just a few simple things, like maintaining eye contact with a shark if, you're, if it's swimming towards you, swimming above the shark at all time and not below it. Just some simple things and maneuvers and like creating distance, not having shiny things. It just makes the shark respect you more. It deters the shark from approaching you. By the time we got to the pelagic zone, we were surrounded by 40 to 60 sharks. We had Galapagos sharks, we had sandbar sharks, and there was even a hammerhead shark that I'm so grateful I got to see. They're real shy, so uh, just seconds after I saw him, he dove a little deeper and he was out of sight. But the fact I got to see one in the first place, gosh, these creatures were so beautiful and they were so close and we were surrounded and there wasn't, I'm a very instinctual person and I can tell you there was not a moment I had any fear. There were moments when I had my backs to more approaching and I turned around and I looked at him and I just, call me crazy, I felt safe. <laughs> If you have the chance to go on a shark dive, I highly promote it. You're going to learn so much, you're going to feel so humbled, and you're going to understand that these are not our predators. I cannot tell you enough that we need to start focusing on saving them just as much as we're trying to save our reefs and our turtles and the rest of the marine life in the world because they are going quick. I learned on this dive that we are butchering 70 million to 100 million sharks per year for things like shark fishing, shark sports, uh, shark fin leather, shark fin soup, and all kinds of other reasons that are just not tolerable. There's no ecosystem that can withstand a genocide like that and just keep thriving. If sharks are the apex predator of so many of our oceans and they get completely annihilated because we're turning a blind eye to them because we think they're this monster, what's gonna happen to the rest of our ocean? When the wolves went extinct in Yellowstone, the elk mass populated and they almost wiped out the whole ecosystem because no, eco no ecosystem can survive herds like that. But the rivers were going lower, they were going dry, the grass was going away. Animals didn't have places to inhabit because, I don't know, just the bush was dying. When we released the apex predator of wolves back into Yellowstone, everything started coming back. Foxes, mice, rivers started running again. I can't imagine how drastic it would be and how largely it would affect our ocean if we just didn't have sharks anymore. Because we like cutting their fin, releasing their bodies to sink, and putting it in soup. Or because your favorite shoe brand uses shark oil or shark leather to make it look a little better for your liking. Or because your lipstick has shark oil in it to make it just the way you want it. There's a whole other planet on this planet and it's underwater and it's gonna start dying a lot faster. It's not just our reefs and our turtles and our ice caps, it's everything. <laughs> we hear so many times of like shark killings and shark attacks and stuff, but the media, like everything else, portrays them to be this absolute monster. I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think they said like each shark tooth has a thousand more um, like 
touch receptors than our own fingertips. Sharks know what they want. They feel us out, they know that we're not what they eat, and they leave. But sometimes the bite is so drastic or the cut is so drastic that a person can lose something. I understand that. And, um, but that doesn't mean a shark is coming to kill you and eat you. We're not their choice. Like, they don't, they don't care about us. And it's kind of the whole, like, they're more scared of us than them thing, except they're not really, I don't even think they're scared as much as they don't acknowledge us. If they know we're not what they want, they kind of just leave. Or they check it out, and then they leave again. You can see so much proof of this if you go onto One Ocean Diving's website, Instagram page, any of their handles, um, onto Ocean Ramsey's, onto Juan. Um, he's on Instagram as Juan Sharks because nobody could say his last name, but they have so much proof. They also created a movie called Saving Jaws. And Jaws, of, as you all know, is a movie based around a stigma of a shark eating and attacking people, and that's where so many people's fears came from, and like the media portraying them as this monster. But if you watch Saving Jaws, you're gonna see what these creatures are really all about. Or just take a risk and go on a shark dive and realize how beautiful they are, and how like gentle, and they're, they're so shy. They're so shy. Did you know your chance of being struck by lightning is higher than a shark attack? Did you know your chance of being killed by a vending machine is higher than a shark attack? Did you know your chance of being killed by the common flu is higher than a shark attack? Did you know there were 20 times more deaths last year by selfie than there were by shark attacks? We have to stop stigmatizing animals we've never learned to love. I mean. I'm so happy that more and more people are becoming vegan all the time. Personally, I'm not a vegan yet, but I totally respect it and in time I'd really like to be. It's hard considering the way I've grown up, but I have been learning more vegan tendencies day by day. And though it hasn't made it to my plate yet, it's made it to my lifestyle. I'm not trying to tell everyone to be vegan, but I am telling you to just be aware of what you're doing, what's being killed in the process, and like, what the point of it is, you know? We joke so much in restaurants about, like, using straws to save the sea turtles, and it's like, it's not a joke, and it's not a joke for sharks either. It's not a joke for the ocean and these garbage islands we have floating in it. It's not a joke for our planet's survival. I'm gonna bring this all back and kind of wrap it up because I don't want this to sound too much like a lecture because I know nobody likes that, and it kind of does sound like a lecture. But these are just facts, and these are just things we need to be aware of. And there's so much we can learn by like studying creatures that we do and don't love, or studying people that spend so much time with these creatures, just like Ocean and Juan. If you're looking to go free diving with sharks, I highly recommend it. Whether you're doing it just for fun, or you're doing it for a learning opportunity, or you're doing it to post something on Instagram, it is not an overrated thing. It is very like, it is exactly what you think you're gonna get, if not better. It's amazing. It's something I'll carry with me and remember for the rest of my life, and it was the highlight of my trip, and I think even if I had a fear of sharks and that I couldn't let go of, I would still have a different respect for them. And in a world where we want everything to be equal, from the way we treat our animals, to the way we treat our people, to the way we treat, oh my gosh, like, the ocean and the earth and our companies and our home, Let's acknowledge the animals too, shall we? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that if you have any questions or comments, you will comment below and let me know what you think. I'm so sorry if you still think sharks are the bad guy. I'm so sorry if I offended you. I'm coming here to be real with you. I'm coming here to share some facts. And by no means do I think you should just jump in the water and start petting sharks. I think you should learn about it first, but I definitely think that if an encounter with a shark is something you wanna have, it's a thousand percent doable, and there's a safe way to do it, and there's a respected way to do it. Again, I upload new YouTube videos weekly, every single Friday. If you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Please give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Unless you hated this video, then no pressure. But if you liked it, 